Hello, this is Mike from RGBHQ. Um, today we are going to be looking at two workstation class GPUs, the Quadro M5000 and the EW8100. These are both the mid to high end um, workstation cards from NVIDIA and AMD, specifically designed for workstation class work. So everything that we do, digital content creation, so 3D, high end video, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. 2016 is going to be a big, big year for GPU acceleration, specifically in 3D. We've got Octane 3 coming, and we've also got Redshift, which is already in Maya and 3DS Max, but is going to be branching out into Cinema 4D and Houdini. I'm a big Octane user, and I've started to look at Redshift, and I'm very, very, very excited about what this offers to freelance and small studios. Why would you go for a workstation card use a lot less power and so in just general day-to-day -day use they just feel nicer much nicer in terms of your screens both of these cards have eight gigs of video ram which is very nice and specifically more in video i've noticed uh, the eight gig of ram gives you a lot more headway our premier tests where we're putting 6k six streams sorry of 4k with some red giant universe plugins across those um, they really made the most of the 8 gig. Um, we were able to see it was saturating all the way through the graphics card. In terms of performance, oh, the NVIDIA is so much quicker on Premiere. I think it was 4 minutes 23 versus 11 minutes for the AMD in our test. And un unfortunately for this guy, that has been the case for the majority of our tests. Maya benchmark, Modo benchmark um, and a couple of other tests that we've run our Mari and we ran Specview Perf um, as well, Specview Perf 12. The NVIDIA does seem to be streets ahead. Now, there could also be another couple of reasons for this. This is potentially one generation ahead of AMD in terms of the underlying architecture. Having said that though, AMD should be catching up with this guy rather than this guy just being streets ahead of this one. This is also going to be something that's going to get worse for AMD this year, even though some of the technology and the news that we're just starting to see with AMD are, is quite exciting. NVIDIA is bringing out Pascal later in the year. If you are looking at getting a workstation card, but you're looking at GPU acceleration where uh, applications like Octane and Redshift will use the number of up to I think 12 um, GPUs in one PC, for example, in my PC I can put up to four. I would still have the M5000 as your driver card, where it's driving a UI, things like Mari, etc. will get the most out of it. And then just load the rest of the, the PCIe slots up with gaming cards, just cheap gaming cards, which would be a much better investment, especially when the Pascal cards come out later in the year. You just swap them in and swap them out but knowing that you've got the reliability of this guy um, running. To be fair, I have run AMD with NVIDIA gaming cards for things like Octane. It runs okay, but in terms of just day-to-day -day reliability, everything just working across um, all my apps, this guy, nice and reliable. Also, people like the Foundry seem to be developing more specifically for NVIDIA. Um, for example, Nuke doesn't recognize the AMD W8100 for any of the hardware accelerated nodes. And it's less crashy. And other thing, only needs one power port. Other little things, um, you're getting four display ports on each, which is useful, obviously. Um, the NVIDIA gives you four display and a DVI, um, whereas you're getting, I can't even remember what this little guy's called. I would love, as I said, I would love these to be equal in terms of healthy competition um, but whilst in my talks with developers people are aware of OpenCL and trying to get across from CUDA to OpenCL and I still feel that you're going to get a bit of a performance improvement on CUDA enabled and optimized apps so for example if Redshift does go to OpenCL and Octane is going to OpenCL I still think you're going to be better off with the NVIDIA card. The only downside of this one over this one is the price it is quite a bit more expensive on the whole i've been running both of these cards um one after the other for a couple of months this 
what sorry the nvidia quadro m5000 has by far been the more pleasing experience um yeah this would be the one i would go for if you're looking for workstation cards gaming cards are quicker in some respects but if you want something that's just going to last and you don't need to think about it get a workstation card um got any comments leave them in either the youtube comments obviously or in our written review on rgbhq.com which will go along this where we'll also post the benchmarks this is mike looking forward to a great 2016 and speak to you soon